So, nakabuhay na pa rin ang kami ganyan. So, ito. Ang sayo, sayo. Kayot, kayot. Let's open the store. Ito mag-aangat ngayon eh. Mabigat eh. Ay! What's that on camera? Ah! Hershey. Wow. <laughs> Malumanay. <laughs> well, kidding aside, um, a part of me didn't really want to make this video. Medyo hesitant talaga. Mga 25% of me. Hindi ko alam sa ko nakuha yung number na yun. Arbitrary siya, guys. But I was very hesitant to make this video kasi the moment I upload this, it would mean that everything that had happened was real. The fact that my dreams didn't push through, it's real. And the fact that my very, very, very first business venture, kung saan binuos ko yung heart and soul and mind and passion and money and time, <laughs> lahat binuos ko. The fact that my first... Oh my God! Yung aso ko! Are you okay? Are you okay, my love? Are you okay? Anak, are you okay? <laughs> ano yun? Huy! Okay, medyo kinabahan ako dun. <laughs> Narinig nyo ba yun? Medyo, medyo hindi maganda yung tunog na yun. Anak, okay ka lang ba? Huy, ang oh, mag-hi ka sa mga kapitbahay natin. <laughs> Anak, okay ka lang ba? Oh, okay. Ang dadrama na nai mo dito. Okay. <laughs> so, ayon. My very first business venture failed. No sugar coating. It failed, and that's real. But I read somewhere that things are beautiful precisely because. They don't last forever. And, oo nga, no? When things don't last, that doesn't mean na they weren't worthwhile or beautiful or good. At the end of it all, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for dreaming, for taking risks, and for not giving up too easily. So, let me tell you the story of how I failed and how I grew. In 2019, my high school best friends, Aubrey, Bria, and I, we went to dinner together. And then, Aubrey and I, we were both master students at that time. Then, we said, you know, I was looking space where we could study even in the wee hours of the morning. It was open at 3 a.m. So, magkakapikape ka lang. So, mag-work ka, mag-aaral, magtatrabaho. And by the end of the evening, napag-usapan namin ni Aubrey, alam mo, gawa na lang tayo ng sarili nating co-working space. And that's how Aral Trip was born. Kaya pangalan niya ay Aral Trip because we believe that learning is a journey. It's a never-ending journey. Hindi siya matatapos kahit matanda ka na, gumraduate ka na at lahat. You will always, always be a student of life. And itong logo namin, ginawa siya ng friend ko, si Gia Niklao. Ginawa namin siyang jeepney. Kasi parang yun, nasa biyahe ka eh. Mga biyahe ka. Eh, di ba pag jeep, madaming tao yan eh. So you, you meet a lot of people and you learn along the way. And that's the whole concept of our co-working space. We wanted it to be a community. So yun, Aubrey and I... <laughs> Spent siguro mga two months trying to put all the puzzle pieces together. Ang saya-saya na feeling yung may lahanap kami ng pwesto sa maginhawa. So, tiningnan namin yung lugar and we fell in love with it. Meron siyang malaking window kung saan ang ganda-ganda ng sunset. Sabi ko, wow, ang ganda ng pag-hit -pag ng sunlight. Perfect to pag, kung 5pm, tapos, 
nagtatrabaho ka, tapos may rays of sun. Ganda nun, diba? Tapos yung sunset, may kita mo yung purple skies, blue, and orange. Ganda ng view, para kang nasa sinihan. Iba-iba yung picture mo bawat oras ng araw. Na-inlove ako dun sa, sa lugar na yun. Ang ganda. Tapos nung nakuha na namin ni Aubrey yung susi, Wow, we can finally call this place ours. We have a contract signing. We have it. Ayan, we na books and we have store. How are you feeling? Good. Hey. Hi. This is it, guys. We're gonna get this place. Ayan, ito siya before. Ang saya ng construction na, para kaming naglalaro ng Sims in real life. <laughs> Ang hirap pala mag-shopping for lights kasi nakatingala akong gano'n. Nangangawit ako. Yung ano, may mga ideas ka, ito yung mga gusto mo, and then may realize mo, oh my god, wala tayong budget kaya mag-DIY, DIY ka. Nalirelax ka? Oh. Kami-kami na yung nagtanggal ng mga wallpaper, kung ano-ano mga DIY namin. Tumulong sa amin si Dog. Tsaka si Josh, tumulong silang dalawa. Aral trip. Aral trip. Mag-Asia. Eh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> saya. Ang saya din yung pag pagbili namin ng mga chairs, ng mga table. Perfect. Saan nag-aral? Harvard. Talaga? Minsan, ano, nagka-part-time ako sa Oxford. <laughs> Nung high school kami, pumunta lang kami ng mall para mag-time zone. <laughs> Ngayon, nasa furniture shop na kami. Uy! Diyan ka pala! <laughs> Tulad si Aubrey. So, meron kami nga, nagay kami ng flyers bukas sa UP. Pag nakuha niya to, may free one-hour stay. Yes. Aubrey and I envisioned a safe space where we could work and learn and explore and discover. A place where people could try out new hobbies. Kahit sa corporate ka, tas wala kang bahid ng artistic skills in your body. Matututo ka kasi safe space to eh. Wala mong judge sa'yo. It's a community of dreamers. We envisioned regular weekend workshops about anything and everything. Painting, crochet, photography, sketching. We wanted to, to make that a regular thing. And that happened for a while, how we had makeup workshops, we had coffee painting workshops, sketching, resin art. We envisioned friendship and the sound of laughter filling up our spaces every day. high school students after class pupunta sila sa aral trip doon sila maglalaro ng games together or gagawa ng group work together meron kaming ano space na may puro bean bag sa favorite spot siya ng mga baguets we envisioned people lots and lots of people of different ages genders backgrounds beliefs industries we envisioned a community a community that helps one another, uh, a community that uplifts one another and inspires one another. A community where everyone will just get together and work for common good. A cliche, di ba? But we, we wanted that. We wanted to be an avenue where leaders could gather and inspire. And for four months, in fairness, our community grew. We had a soft opening in October. We officially launched in November. And tuloy-tuloy siya. There was what, one point, um, hinire kami or nirent kami ng isang IT company. Saya nun! Sobrang daming tao every day. 
Tapos may ano, may mangtataho. Si Kuya mangtataho. Pupunta siya sa aral trip every 4 p.m. Kasi alam niyang maraming tao doon. Tapos masaya kami lahat kapag nandun si Kuya Taho. But in March, COVID happened. And the whole world took a pause. And just like that, everything changed. An empty room. Vacant chairs. Deafening silence. Slowly, we had to accept the fact that a co-working space has no place in the new normal. Hi guys! Last week na ng aral trip ngayon. Nakangiti ako kunwari, pero masakit siya. Pero ito yung coping mechanism ko. <laughs> yung sabi ko, ano, sige, ibablog ko to para may memories ako ng aming last few days here. Kasama namin si Bria Cardenas, our BFF. Kasi mag-photoshoot kami. Kasi ilang maarte ako, sabi ko, kailangan ko i-announce sa Instagram na last week namin. Pero gusto ko, maganda ako. Gusto ko may photoshoot. Buti na lang yung best friend namin, photographer. Ayan. <laughs> so, pinapabasa ko kay Bria yung caption na ginawa ko na i-announce sa namin na mag-close kami. Naiyak siya. Ba't ka na ako? Ba't ka na because <laughs> 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 Nagsisink in na ba na last six days na lang tayo? Hindi <laughs> Same. As alam mo yung masakit, yung ano, next month, pag magda-drive by, maginhawa tayo. Wala na to. Oh, true. Ibang restaurant na siya. Oh, grabe na ba? Iba na siya. Ibang establishment na siya. Afternoon sun. Afternoon sun. It was really hard letting go, but it was also a huge learning experience. Charge it to experience, sabi nga nila. First, I learned in times like this, you'll know who your true friends really are. Sobrang natouch ako na may mga friends ako nag-reach out, tumulong, talagang nakaka-touch. Yung, yung simpleng retweet, simpleng repost lang pala, simpleng share ng posts, ang laking tulong niya. At nakaka-touch kasi marirealize mo that not all your friends do that. Number two, you have no idea how big an impact you also make on other people's lives. Nung last days of Aral Trip, may mga ano, hindi ko, hindi ko sila kilala. And they were working there. Familiar sila, mga regular customers eh. And they told me, Aral Trip is so special to us. It's the perfect place. It's not snobby. Hindi siya yung a place where you have to dress up and pretend and ano, yung you have to be put your best foot forward. Hindi siya parang opisina eh. Si Aral Trip parang siyang bahay. Yung pwede kang magsuot ng chinelas, pwede kang magsuot ng pambahay and he'll... It's okay. It's not pretentious. It's real. It's a home. Kahit four months lang kami nag-operate ng sobrang fully functional and the rest of of the eight months we were barely surviving kahit ganun yun some people saw Aral trip as their home and with that parang feeling ko may tama kaming nagawa kasi yun naman talaga to eh it's a safe space Aral trip was a safe space and of course I also learned that sometimes the end of one dream leads to another. 
Oh my gosh! <laughs> gantong ganto ang itsura ng aral trip nung nagsisimula pa lang kami. Because we had to close aral trip, I opened a new chapter in my life. And yun yung entertainment industry. I got I got a job on TV and I got I got the new series coming up. Yung alam mo yun na sino ba naman mag, parang ako mag-acting? Ano yun? Mag-host sa TV? Ano yun? Bakit? Parang never ever 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 in my life kung mai-imagine. Kasi parang hindi totoo eh. Parang it's, it's, such a, it's such a huge dream that I can never ever attain. But it happened. And until now, I don't know how. I don't know why. Paano? And I will always, always, always be grateful. Yun nga sabi nila eh, na when one door closes, another opens. And during that time, nung nagsara si Aral Trip, I had no idea where my career will take me. Remember, I was a girl who left her job to pursue this business that closed and now I'm thinking, what next? And in that specific moment in time, I didn't know what to do, but many months later, here I am. Funny how, how life works, no? Parang how God orchestrates things. So until now, of course, sad pa rin ako, may pain pa rin ako of this unrealized, unfulfilled dream. But I'm still very, very proud of us. Because in the short amount of time, Aubrey and I didn't give up. And our friendship grew. And it just goes to show how much we wanted this, how much we loved this. And who knows? Maybe my chapter 2 pa to. We can never really be sure. But I'm just really, really proud of us. In the words of Jack Gilbert, the author of the poem, Failing and Flying, sabi niya, Everyone forgets that Icarus also flew. Icarus was not failing as he fell, but just coming to the end of his triumph. Kala ko sobrang magiging patok siya, naiimagine ko na magkakaroon ng mga estudyante na mag all nighter dito. Na ito yung magiging go-to place nila pag exam week. Tapos sama-sama silang lahat sa aral trip. Pero hindi siya natuloy. Itong pandemic na to, nobody expected this. And ayun, that's why we have to say goodbye. Ang weird nga eh, na parang, why am I saying goodbye? It's right there. It's right here in front of me. It's just a few feet away from me. It's, it's still here. Sobrang nasa-shock lang ako. <laughs> or sobrang... I don't, know, I don't know how to explain it, pero parang I fear na kapag one day, maybe five months from now, I'm gonna drive by Maginhawa in this exact street and see Aral Trip is no longer here. Iba na siyang establishment. Paano kung one day bakery na pala to? Or one day maging salon to? Or restaurant? Hindi na siya si Aral Trip. Ito exact store na yan. It's weird. Siguro, for a long time, hindi muna ako dadaan ng Maginhawa Street para lang <laughs> hindi ko na makita yung Aral Trip. Na hindi siya si Aral Trip. Gets me, oh. But ayan, I have to say goodbye. Ngayon talaga. Mm. Yeah. When things fail, doesn't mean they were a failure to begin with. In the four months that Ariel trip was, I'm so proud. So, so proud and so happy. Ariel trip wasn't a failure. It was just the end of our chapter. And when chapters end, there's always a new page.